what's going on, y'all? Since we are, I'm waiting on a card rebuild kit for the 200E. I'm going to hop back on the 400EX real quick. These graphics are coming off. They're not bad looking graphics, but I have two issues with them. One being the application of the graphics. They are coming up in spots. The edges are coming up, and they got bubbles in them, and they just overall just the graphics themselves look good. Whoever this is did a good job on the graphics, but the application of the graphics are garbage. I have my heat gun, but I don't think I'm going to need it. To be frank with you, because I think this is going to peel, yep, just right off. Like it's literally just peeling right off. And these graphics are more scratched up than what I thought. So. I might use well yeah I'm not seeing any adhesive being left behind I mean these these are nice thick material I'm sure it's fine but not for me I'm not gonna pay for somebody else logo to be on my stuff and for me to give them free advertisement so you know if they want to be on my machines then they can either give it to me for free or for a discount a discount code or something but you know i'm nobody big in the atv off-road sector so you know it's no reason for them to give me anything for free i don't expect them to give me anything for free so I'm going to get custom graphics made uh, to my color and with my own logo on it because I'll be the one paying for it full price anyway. So yeah, but until the meantime, this has to come off. So I'm probably going to sit y'all on the tripod. Let's get this thing stripped down to all white plastics. Let's get them cleaned up so that the new graphics will stick better than these. And then you're going to see my little simple setup. That's nothing exciting, but you know, it's going to do until I get my graphics set made. Jesus Christ. Oh, of course. I think I finally got all the decals off. All right, I think so. I think that's everything. What I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna go ahead and Want to prep it to get all of, I guess they use like SC1 or something on the plastics. I'm going to get all that stuff off, prep the surface, and make sure that it's as clean and as stick ready as possible. So after I do that, I'll be back. I'll show you all these simple graphics. Nothing special, but it'll look better than what it did before, and it'll look better than it just being all white. Everything is cleaned up and should be prepped. And what I use for uh, prepping stuff like this is Mazenbacher's Lift Off. This does a really good job of getting any oils and grease and stuff off the surface and makes it a really good surface for stuff to stick. All these fenders, I don't know why they're like cut marks, like they cut around some graphics or something so if y'all have seen this before let me know why they did this but look like they pretty much like cut around any graphics that were here and it doesn't really make any sense to me why they would do that these plastics are not in as good of shape 
as I thought. And I can tell that those graphics were really covering up a lot of the plastic damage or scratches or whatever. So I said, and this Joker was a really machine because you can see that bar flat on the bottom. You know, whatever. I'm not going to spend $500 just to replace the plastics. They're good enough. All right. So the graphics kit, nothing excited. It's just stock replacement graphics. That's all it is for right now. You know, instead of it being just all white stock replacement graphics, um, I try to look up like a placement kit, like where to place the graphics. Of course, I knew where to place the sport tracks, uh, but it seems like one small Honda is going to go up front. I might put a sport tracks up front. I don't know. Um, but I didn't see any like 400 EX ones. I figured they would put like some 400 EX ones in here. Never seen these graphics on white plastics, only on yellow and red. So I'm interested to see how they look on the white and just how well they flow. All right, I'll load it up on the trip. This ride is just to take it for a test drive to see if it works. Um, because before uh, the cops got called, one of my older neighbors called the cops. And I literally went two houses down and came right back. And go just something very very simple for right now until I get my graphics designed and made it definitely looks better than it being all white and I do like it better than the graphics kit that came off of here so just something slight something to keep it being from all white uh, I did not measure anything uh, so I feel like I eyeballed it pretty good pretty straight this is a off a little bit to the left side but whatever you know i feel like for me just eyeballing it and doing something real fast it looks pretty good and the last thing we're going to do is add my two stickers to the mix and when i did the neighborhood ride and i had my gopro on my chest the perfect spot to put my own stickers is right here on the gas tank cover. It'll be front and center, basically just like this, really. So whenever I ride, my logo, my QR code will be right here. And just like that. <laughs> I got it branded. Like I said, so anytime I'm doing a riding video, logo, QR code will be in the video. I'll probably take a couple more of those and put them different places on here. Maybe two more, but for right now, I think that's good enough to go ahead and put my own mark on my own machine. So like I said, this will just be a temporary setup, like I said, until I can get my graphics kits designed, made, and shipped out to me. I definitely will take into consideration of how much that graphic kit cover, because I feel like the more it covers, the better at this point, because like, like I said, didn't realize the plastics look that bad, bad under their graphics kit. Like I said, you really can't see it on camera, but it's, it's, I knew these, I, I didn't expect these to be perfect, but I didn't expect for them to be as rough as what they are either. So, you know, like I said, just 
plain simple to the point but i will say it this graphics kit on the white looks pretty good like I said, i've only seen it on the yellow and the red but this stock style graphics kit on the white really looks good honda should have gave white as an option because this looks good and i wanted white plastics which is one of the reasons why i bought this bike in particular so i mean it's really all i have for this video hopefully it wasn't that long um but just a little a little graphic list more stockish you know theme going on right for this moment so if you want to see more 400 ex content it is coming down the road uh we are planning to do one of our first rides um it'll be the first ride for me and it'll be the first ride for Cortland on his we were going to go to red oak uh but my son's godmother's father told us to come down to south carolina and ride with him on his land and his family's land and a bunch of dirt roads and he has a polaris uh 450. so we're going to go down there once it warms up and we're going to do some riding down in south carolina so that'll be my first time taking mine out to ride that'll be Cortland's really his first time taking his out to ride as well so we hope that will be a good time so if you like the 400 content let me know below subscribe more content is on its way we plan on doing a lot of riding this year if you like honda atc content my 200e is on its way like i said i'm waiting on a carb kit from 223 cycles i did the crf 230 uh exhaust i got the suzuki quad sport 250 or 280 wheels rear wheels all the way around brand new rubbers i got <clears throat> i got the 185 s 200s front suspension i welded the big red uh rack and headlight guard onto the 185 200s suspension i have a car led high beam low beam drl combined with the I forget it was like a dz 450 motorcycle headlight bracket that i'm going to make fit into the stock housing with a little bit of trimming i've got a brand i recovered this seat and i got a 84 big red uh, plastic seat pan new pleated seat cover because the stock seat pan was a little holy quite literally so like i said if you like honda content period my 83 big red is going to be on some content the 400 ex is going to be on some content the 125 is going to be for sale as soon as i do the seat cover so you probably won't see any more content on this but i do have content on it this 91 z50 is for sale so you will probably see one more video of that because i repaired the tank it started leaking on the smallest spot that i repaired so i went ahead and got a new tank so i need to drop that tank on there and then take updated pictures and get this sold but we're going to be on there it's going to be the 83 200e and the 2400 ex so y'all let me know what y'all want to see um i do have some parts coming so we can do oil change i did a video on everything that is wrong with it i got parts on the way to fix everything that is wrong with it to get this bad boy trail worthy so we can go rip it and not hopefully not get stranded stuck or break anything so let me know what y'all want to see but until next time think build enjoy my lens is dirty peace